It's your boy Conservist34, and today I'm going to talk about a critical mistake SiriusXM made. It's June 13th, 2019. So let's get this party started. So what did SiriusXM do today that was very controversial and is creating a lot of backlash? They decided to remove Jam One Radio from Channel 29. And they're going to add in a long-term commitment to SiriusXM Fish Radio. Now, it's not the fact that Fish Radio is being added as much as it's the anger that SiriusXM Jam One is being removed from Channel 29. Now, you can still listen to it on streaming platforms. It's in the 700s on your streaming platform. But what angered so many fans of Jam On is the fact that now in their cars, the in-car experience that connects right to the satellites uh, above when you're driving, you're not going to be able to listen to Jam On Radio on Channel 29. You're stuck with Fish Radio all the time. You can't say, well, no, I like Fish Radio for, for a good two hours. Now I want to go to Jam On. Nope. Unless you have a streaming package, you cannot listen to Sirius XM Jam On. And this is a station that has grown in popularity. It has its own community of followers. And here's the thing. Fish was always a part of it. And you know, without Jam On Radio, we probably don't have a Fish Radio right now. It had a lot of exclusive content, the Fish Files, different concerts, different stuff from the vault that they gave out to SiriusXM for Jam On. But that led to this channel that now kicked it off of the radio experience in car. And that's what the big thing is, in car. You see, if it's not broke, don't fix it. And you know what SiriusXM did? They broke something that did not need to be fixed. They saved the chick that did not need to be saved, okay? They cheated on their main chick on Channel 29, and now they married the side chick. Now, I don't know what that's like because black men don't cheat, but apparently some people leave their main chick for their side chick. I don't have any side chicks because, again, remember, folks, black men don't cheat. Sorry, I got a little off topic there. But here's the thing. What wasn't broke is the fact that Sirius XM radio is not dead. Matter of fact, it's still alive and well. Even with the merger of SiriusXM years ago, people still subscribe to these expensive packages. People drive longer to commutes than they've ever done before. People are driving their kids around to different things, um, you know, sporting events and, and you know, ballet and, and concerts, and they're involved in their kids' lives. And they drive around. They want to hear SiriusXM jam on. They don't want it on an app on their phone. They don't want it in other ways on their laptop. They want to listen to it in the car. But removing Jam One from the car experience and saying, hey, well, you can buy the streaming package is angering fans who are stubborn in their ways, who like the consistency of turning on their car and listening to radio like they've done for 30 to 40 years. So they're taking this formula that was working and they're, they're putting that in jeopardy by removing Jam On from Channel 29 and saying, hey, guys, we still got the app. The older you get, the more stubborn you are to change. And much of this base is in their mid 30s and older. OK, they're not changing their habits. They don't want to download an app. Now, they complained on social media for sure, but they don't want to download another app. They have Twitter on their phone, but they don't want Jam One on their phone. They want it in their car for those long commutes, for road trips and other reasons. They associate this curation of music with a car ride. When they're home, they're going to listen to their, their files on their laptop. They're going to listen to streaming. But when they're in their car, they're saying, here is two to three hours a day. Here's 45 minutes a day. Here's 30 minutes a day that I'm going to get curated music. And that's what Jam On is. See, a lot of Fish fans, if you look online, were upset that Jam On was lost on the in-car package at the expense of Fish Radio. See, Fish fans... And people who want to listen to a lot of any artist can go on to a lot of different mediums, YouTube, Forms, Spotify, and all the other streaming services, Apple Music, etc. Or they can go to their vault. Some of them have tapes. Some of them have CDs. Some of them have uh, vinyls. 
they can listen to a lot of stuff as audio files of fish because they and they probably most of the people who wanted fish radio had that stuff in their house. But what Jam On does is it gives these fans of fish and widespread panic and the Grateful Dead. It gives them experiences to be exposed to not only the stuff they grew up with and the stuff they're listening to right now. It gives them first looks into new jam bands, new bands who are mixing up their set list and playing what they feel the day they feel like playing it. They're giving new exposure to these artists so that these fans can find new loves with different bands. Now, Jam On personally is the reason that I'm a huge fan of the Revivalist. And guess who I'm probably going to go see Sunday? Still on the fence. I got to find a low ticket price. I'm going to see the Revivalist because I was on Jam On Radio last year when they had featured music. I didn't know about the Revivalist for years. Now, I heard, you know, I heard the name. But I didn't know what they were about until Jam One put me on to them. The same thing goes for artists like Snarky Puppy and Pigeons Playing Ping Pong. I remember when Pigeons Playing Ping Pong was playing at this local festival up in uh, Greenfield, Mass. And my friends were like, yo, you got to hear this band. I'm like, who? Pigeons Playing Ping Pong, huh? And now they're at lock-in every year. They have... Uh, coast to coast tours. They sell out these venues that other jam bands are selling out. And it's because of things like Sirius XM Jam On. So when people are in their car, they don't want to hear a bunch of fish. They don't want to hear some classic show from 92 or 93 or 97. They want to be curated with music. And Sirius XM lost touch with this by trying to say, hmm, we want to please fish fans. They're doing this a lot. They're adding more and more uh, artist-specific channels as time is going on. They're looking at artists from people in, who are in their mid-30s or their early 40s or even their 50s and saying, we're adding this radio and that radio and that radio because these are artists that people that are going to buy our packages really, really like. And some of these people who have packages who love these vi- variety channels, classic vinyl and I think and you know Jam On and so on, they want to have more content from artists they grew up with. But the thing that SiriusXM missed is not at the exposure of losing this curation. Radio needs to stay in their lane and stick to curation. Introduce people to new artists. Introduce people, have them have some interviews here and there. Play music of all varieties. And that is what gets you your customers. I refuse to pay for some of the packages for SiriusXM's in-car package. I'm a millennial and I'm 28 years old. So I'm different. But those who are in their 30s and 40s who are making, you know, have the money, they don't care about the package. It's nothing to them on their budget. They don't care about the package and they want to hear curation. Those are the key customers they lost today. They lost a lot of customers today by making a move without realizing, hey, maybe we should stick to radio. And you know, Everyone is trying to create brilliant and marketing strategies as music changes. We're talking about streaming, 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 and smartphones and all this stuff being on your phone or being on a tablet. And it could be something that SiriusXM and their management thinks, hmm, we need to be on top of the ball. And they're doing a great job with the app. I wouldn't be subscribed without the app. But with all of that, the lesson today is don't forget who your true base is and don't forget what they really like. The streaming is not going to grow SiriusXM exponentially. What is going to keep the stability of SiriusXM is continuing to keep the curated stations of different genres, different eras, different types of music, and not trying to go so gung-ho about making the in-car experience about, oh, Fish Radio, Dave Matthews Band Radio, this radio, that radio. And speaking of Dave Matthews Band Radio, when they took over one of the channels that was like a playlist, it was like some sort of pop or alt rock playlist thing last summer, those fans of that radio station were pissed too. So what does SiriusXM need to do? They need to make this right and put Jam On back on channel 29 and make Fish Radio a streaming only radio channel. If they do this, they will keep what they have. They will be able to repair what is now broken because of their own misdoing and still have an ability for those fish heads who want fish radio to listen on a streaming package. Look, if you really want an exclusive channel and you need justification through a fish or Dave Matthews band or Tom Petty radio, you will do whatever it takes to get it. That's what I've seen with Dave Matthews band radio, where people literally are finding ways to go to satellite radio who hated Sirius XM.
So if you're listening to Sirius XM, this is your lesson. Stay in your lane. Stick to your core. You're doing okay. Radio is not dying. Terrestrial radio or satellite radio. At the end of the day, what people want the most when they decide to turn on the radio is curation. It's not about these super rare files from 1992 or a Grateful Dead show from 1971. It's about curation. Give us a little bit of everything. Introduce us to a couple of new acts here and there and then rotate it back to the old school artists that I love. That's all you got to do. If it's not broke, don't fix it. It's your boy, Constance 34 Let me know what you guys think. Definitely like, comment, subscribe. I'm out. Peace.